Hmm. Where did it go? I'm sure I left it here last time. What are you looking for this late? My teddy bear. The one I've had since I was baby Pinox. Just a soft toy. Oh no, Kitty. Soft toys have a long and fascinating history. How about we take a little time travel trip to find out who invented soft toys? Zoom in! Long before soft toys filled store shelves, children played with whatever they could find. Wooden animals, metal figurines, or dolls stitched from scraps of cloth. They were fun, but not exactly huggable. So over 2,000 years ago, people began sewing together bits of rags and hay, decorating them with colorful threads and tiny beads to create what many consider the earliest rag dolls. Simple, handmade, and wonderfully soft, these dolls grew in popularity across different cultures over the centuries. By the 18th and 19th centuries, during the Industrial Revolution, rag dolls began to be produced on a small scale in Europe and America. Factories that made textiles started using leftover fabric scraps to make simple cloth dolls for sale. They were inexpensive, soft, and easy to make, especially popular among working-class families. However, these dolls were usually flat and loosely stuffed, not sculpted or plush like the toys we know today. But the thread for the modern plush toy was already being sewn in Germany in 1879 when a talented tailor named Margaret Stein started making animal-shaped pin cushions. Margaret, who had contracted polio as a child and used a wheelchair, didn't let her disability stop her. She created a small elephant as a demonstration piece. Her pin cushions were so adorable that children began playing with them as toys. With the help of her nephew, Richard Stein, she later designed a soft bear with movable joints made of mohair fabric. In 1903, at a toy fair in Leipzig, a buyer from the United States ordered 3,000 of them, not realizing they would soon become part of a worldwide sensation. Meanwhile, in the United States in 1902, President Theodore Teddy Roosevelt went on a hunting trip in Mississippi. The story goes that after several unsuccessful days, his guides tied a small bear to a tree so he could hunt it easily. But Roosevelt refused, calling it unsportsmanlike. This act of mercy became famous after a political cartoon by Clifford Berryman appeared in the Washington Post. The cartoon showed the president sparing the tiny bear cub, and the public loved it. Around the same time in Brooklyn, New York, a shop owner named Morris Mictum and his wife Rose saw the cartoon and decided to make a stuffed bear in Roosevelt's honor. They called it Teddy's Bear. When they placed it in their shop window, it sold immediately and the stuffed toy craze began. Soon these toys started coming in different shapes, sizes and patterns. Today, they offer comfort and emotional support to everyone, helping them cope with stress, fear or loneliness. So the next time you see someone clutching a worn-out teddy bear, remember that simple toy carries more than a century of history, love and invention. 
trivia time. Did you know the largest soft toy is a 63 foot tall teddy bear? Yes, while the smallest commercially sold teddy bear is 4.5 millimeters. It's sketching time. Today's sketch of the day goes to Chloe Salvador. Hope you learned something fun today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So, have you seen my old beery toy, Kitty? I can't sleep without it. Uh, well, uh, about that, I might have given it away in scrap. <laughs> what? You did what? Hmm, never mind. <laughs>